Hey everybody, it's Michael with Cooking with Anarchy Tutorials, and um, this is a video that um, I just uh, uh, came across. I know this is kind of an older video that's posted August in 2008, but uh, uh, here's what they're asking, here's what they're wanting to do. Okay, so they wanted to, uh, uh, they want the video to kind of still like a certain uh, image right there uh, somewhere and uh, continue to move. So they're asking if this can be done in Sony Vegas. Yes, it can. I'm going to show you one way real quick. Uh, this is not like uh, anything that's going to be um, taking a uh, long period of time. So um, I'm going to go through this really quick. Um, here we go. Okay, so this is like a short video that I have right here of a, uh, a friend coming through um, jumping, uh, they're skydiving, as you can see. So um, we're going to get to a place right here where I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do this like a uh, kind of the, uh, the cheap way of doing this. this is not, I'm gonna, not going to spend a lot of time on this, but um, I had this point marked right here where I was going to, uh, that's one of the still areas that, that uh, I'm going to make. So I'm going to click on this thing right here. I've already clicked this. I've done save, save snapshot to file. And uh, I saved it as image one. It's, and then once you do that, it appears right here in your uh, project media. So this is an image um, of that particular screen. So I'm going to duplicate the track. Actually, I should have just inserted a track, but I'll delete that right there. I'm going to drag this image right down here. And I'm placing it on top of this other video, the video down here. Um, but uh, in order for you to see the video beneath it, of course, you have to uh, turn this uh, top one into a mask. So I'm going to do event pan crop. And um, I'm going to click mask. And you can only mask in uh, uh, Vegas Pro. You can't do it in Movie Studio. So if you have Movie Studio, it's not going to work. And I'm going to do a really quick kind of shoddy job here. If you were doing this like professionally, you would take your time and you'd uh, actually make like a good mask around here. But this is just going to be like a real quick one. Um, so there's the mask right there and uh, I'm going to delete that first mask or that first uh, uh, keyframe slide that keyframe over there and then I'm going to do something this is this is uh, where it comes into play where I'm talking about it's kind of a, a shoddy sort of way to do it you could do it with track motioning but I'm, this is this tutorial is not with track motioning so um, all I'm going to do is just move this right here I created one keyframe right here this is where the image is at right now then um, I'm going to move this down over here Actually, here's a keyframe right here so then I'm going to create a new keyframe by double clicking right there and I'm going to move this right here and then I'm going to move this keyframe all the way over there oh. that one so basically what this is going to do is it's going to keep this I know that I know the uh, the film is just kind of moving at an angle they parachute down from the uh, from the uh, upper right to the lower left so um, that's the reason why I'm moving it in this uh, way you may have to play with it a little bit depending on which um, how yours is moving and then um, if you click it over here now and play it takes a snapshot and moves it and that one keeps flying up in the air and you can keep doing that you can do like another snapshot you can do like uh, another one say of uh, this right here you would take a snapshot and you do the same thing you would move it the same way you would paste it on top and uh, uh, just move it uh, with keyframes that's one way to do it without using track motion i will uh, show you the track motion way when i have a little bit more time but i don't have a lot of time right now i have to go out and run some errands but um so that's it hope you found that helpful um thanks a lot have a good one